Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Sci. Today we'll be covering the top 10 intense episodes from the Pawn Stars. Let's get into the video. Number 10, Chum of All Fears. Trick or treat with the Pawn Stars as Corey and Chumley try to pull off the perfect duo Halloween costume. Can they be counted on the work as a team? Then, when Corey checks out a 1933 Plymouth, the old man tries to edge in on the deal. And later, a guy brings in a 1977 Maddle electronic football game. A relic from Rick's childhood. Can he separate business from nostalgia? Number 9, Sturgis and Acquisitions. Start your hog and ride with the Pawn Stars as they head to the annual Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. Can Rick relax and enjoy the trip, or will he stop and hunt for deals along the way? And back in Vegas, the old man and Olivia are holding down the shop. Will school be in session as he teaches her the pawn biz, or will he just take a nap and make her do all the work? And later, the guys arrive in Sturgis, but Rick spots a sweet deal. A 1966 Honda CB160 motorcycle. Is he window shopping, or will he insist on making business with pleasure? Number 8, Cold Hard Cash. Walk the line with the Pawn Stars as Rick and Corey check out a Rolls Royce once owned by a man in the black himself, Johnny Cash. Will this deal be a ride in the sky or end up making them hurt? Then, a coin from the Byzantine Empire lands in the shop. Is this thousand year old relic worth more than its weight in gold? And later, Chumley gets a taste of the food biz when he fills in a friend's hot dog stand. Number 7, Broadsiding Lincoln. The hunt is on when the Pawn Stars are presented with one of the most sought after items in American history, a John Wilkes Booth wanted poster. Will this priceless piece give them the slip or is Rick determined to bring it in dead or alive? Then a guy buzzes the shop with a fighter pilot's G suit designed to prevent pilots from passing out. Will the guys lock their radar onto this item or will a tough negotiation leave them feeling woozy? Number 6, Ace in the Hole. The Pawn Stars hope to capture a glimpse of the Old West when they are presented with an antique professional gambler's toolkit. Complete with every game of trade and elaborately designed with a secret compartment for trouble. Will they up the ante and make an offer or will they be forced to fold? Then Rick and Corey look to buy rare pieces of 1896 US currency known as the Educational Series, lavishly designed by the US Treasury. Will the Bills receive the high praises or will a series of bad reviews send them back to school? Number 5, Going Postal. Make money with the Pawn Stars as they are presented with a one-of-a-kind U.S. postage printing plate from 1862. Will the guys trek through rain or heat or gloom of night to make a deal, or will they return this one to sender? Then a guy comes in with a rare recording of a speech given by Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., made just months before his assassination. Will Rick stand strong and buy this American icon's recording, or will the tiniest scratch make it all worth skipping? Number 4, Kings and McQueens. The Pawn Stars are blown away when a seller limps in with a 19th century shotgun disguised as a cane. Will Rick take a shot at buying this legendary concealed firearm, or will his offer miss the mark? Then, Rick and Chumley race to check out a 1940 Indian motorcycle once owned by the King of Cool, Steve McQueen. Will this negotiation take off like a bullet, or will Rick let this one make a great escape? And later, the guys are presented with a book printed by founding father Benjamin Franklin. Will Rick shell out some of his own Benjamins for this rare piece, or will he find it's not worth the paper it's printed on? Number 3, not on my watch. The Pawn Stars become a house divided when a Confederate Civil War knife marches into the shop. Known as the An Arkansas Toothpick, will the guys sharpen their tactics to take a stab at this rare piece, or will a tough negotiation leave them licking their wounds? Then, Rick and Chumley are presented with a 1936 Rolex, formerly owned by infamous con man Bernie Madoff. Number 2, Over the Top. Run for cover with the Pawn Stars when a World War I helmet blasts into the shop. The first metal helmet used by US forces. Will the guys butt heads to buy this piece or will they dig in for a long negotiation? Then Corey and Rick are presented with a gun holster used on the long running TV show Gunsmoke. Number one, it's a wonderful pawn. Do time with the pawn stars when a Christmas dinner menu from Alcatraz Prison from 1912 comes into the shop. Will Rick sentence this piece to life in the pawn shop or let it escape? Then Rick and the old man check out a bomber jacket worn by a member of the famous World War II fighter squadron, the Hellhawks. Can the guys make an offer or is it asking price sky high? And later, Chumley is put in charge of the annual Christmas party. Can Christmas be saved? That's going to do it for today's video, guys. I'll catch you later. Goodbye.